Got my mic on. Mic sounds good, hopefully. Chuck, chuck, chuck. What if I could clip this in my beard one day? Would that sound terrible? How does that sound? Is that noticeable? Subtle. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another tutorial hosted by myself. I'm Drew. Welcome to the channel. So today we are talking about removing backgrounds in Procreate. This is a common thing that people look to do in Photoshop and maybe you didn't know that you could do this in Procreate too. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. Um, one with a image that has kind of a whitish background, it's like a paper texture and it's going to be a high contrast between the background and the actual image that we're trying to cut out. And then I'm going to show another version of an image that has a black sky background as well as a dark foreground and we're going to try and remove the background. So two ways to do it. I think they're the best ways to do it. And without further ado, let's get to it. Alrighty, let's kick this tutorial off here. So to begin, I found this pretty sweet octopus drawing on Pinterest. and. I'm gonna paste this into my Procreate board here. I'm just gonna scale it up so it's a little easier to see. Zoom out. Okay, so this would be an example of like a high contrast background to lines or art that you're wanting to work with. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this layer and save it underneath so we have a reference always can go back to it just in case something goes wrong it's good to have a backup plan so uh, remember that that's just a little tip for you okay so for this one you can see there's this um, kind of I don't know paper like background if you want to call it that and say you wanted to get rid of that here so the easiest way to do this kind of background and this would be like if you had a white background or anything like that so let's just change this back the actual canvas background to like a let's just do something like yeah purple's fine okay so make sure you have your working layer selected you're gonna hit this tool up here third one from the left the selection tool go down to automatic here and just make sure none of these bottom um, selections are clicked like if you have fill color something different is going to happen so just make sure to unclick those um, and all you're going to do is you're going to click on the background and you're going to slide you can see at the top there that you're selecting the threshold and so you're going to want to slide this until so, so you can see there that like I was picking up a little bit of the inside so I restarted and I'm going back and I'm just gonna go until I hit that fine line where you can see there's these little specks on the outside here so keep going if you go too far for example you're gonna hit everything so that's why I'm being kinda slow take your time on this and okay so we're gonna restart since I messed that up there and say you did that and you wouldn't need it to go back instead of having to paste it in again you've got that backup layer so that's why it's important to do that okay so moving forward okay click on the background that you want to remove and slide your threshold keep going keep going and almost there okay so we hit too far okay so let's just go to 30 percent there so next you're gonna get out of this threshold and you're gonna click this the um, selection tool and you can just see how I can move that around now and all you can do is you can just cut it out three finger swipe down cut it out and there we go you can see there's still some edges here that didn't clean up so you could easily just come in with an eraser clean those up okay and here's something too like if you look in this tentacle here um, you can see that it didn't get inside there so you're gonna have to do it again so make sure you're still on that layer click the selection tool and you should just be able to click in that spot go over here 
You can cut it through your finger swipe down, cut, and there it goes. Um, here's another spot down here, we'll do it again. Just click in that spot, and you can see that it, when I clicked originally, there's still a little bit of white or the background line, so you can adjust this threshold again, but just be careful um, that you don't go too far. So, and sometimes with a high, this image is kind of pixelated, so sometimes with an image that's pixelated like that, you're gonna run into um, grabbing some of the image. So, I mean, this looks pretty good. Look at that, that was really fast, and you can tell that I can change the background color here. And yeah, really simple. For reference, there's what we started with, and here's what we got. Okay, so I wanna show a different example here. Um, if you don't have as great of contrast between your background and the artwork that you're trying to cut out. I found this picture of Pizza Planet and I'm gonna try and use that same method of using the automatic selection on the background. And you can see that it picks it up, but where it gets really messy is because the, black, the background is so dark and this layer that we're not wanting cut out is dark as well it's gonna be really difficult for the automatic selection to grab that. No matter how many times you try it, it's just gonna be messy. And you can see how pixelated this is. You could, I guess, if you wanted to, um, cut this out and you know take your eraser and try and clean those lines up. But no matter what, you're gonna be kind of setting yourself up for some a mess. So the better way to do something like this is, again, I've copied my layer, so I've got a backup just in case. And we're going to use the selection tool again, but instead of automatic, we're going to freehand this. Okay, say I just wanted to cut out this P right here. I'm just tracing around it really rough. This is an example. And once I've connected the end to my, my start point, which is the circle of these marching ants, I'm going to tap my layers and I'm going to click on the layer that I'm working on and I'm going to make a mask. What this mask does is so it cut out everything that wasn't inside of the marching ants. And if I wanted the opposite, I invert the mask. So now everything besides what was inside is gone. So okay, without further ado, let's get started with these marching ants. So again, the selection tool, you're going to freehand and what you can do with this too is you can tap and connect your lines. That way, if you have a straight line, it's much easier to connect them and make it straight rather than trying to trace. But if you have a circle, which is coming up here on top of this tower, so I've got a circle here, and instead of just tapping around it, I'm going to use my pen and just I'm just going to draw. And yeah, it's not perfect, but it's such a small detail here. And for this example, we're going to roll with it. And as you can see, there's areas inside of this tower that I'm not doing yet, and we're going to go tackle those later. So make sure that you follow along till the end so you can see how to do that kind of stuff. tapping along. Sometimes I'm going to tap in the wrong spot, so take your time with this. I'm going to try not to rush, and therefore I'm going to speed up this process so you don't have to watch all of this. It might be kind of dry and boring, so I'll catch you here in a few. Okay, so I sped it up and I've created all my outlines here on the bulk or the majority of what I want to cut out. So I'm just going to go around 
bottom here and I'm gonna connect them. And now that I've connected them, you can see that uh, we got these dashed lines of anything that's not in my selection. And next I'm gonna go up to my layer and I'm gonna click mask. And I need to turn off that background safety layer so it can see that it's actually cut out. And if I were to change my background color of the canvas, you can see that you can easily. So that is a little bit more time consuming than the automatic, but again, you're gonna get much better results here because this image is kind of pixelated. Um, that's why we've got these pixelated edges if we zoom way in. But when you're looking at it from afar like this, it looks pretty good. Okay, so next up, we're gonna tackle these little lines, for example, like in here. So it looks weird if you have the background, let's just make the background um, red, and then you've got these spots that obviously are not fitting. So we're gonna tackle those next. So in order to make another mask and cut out that section, you're gonna have to merge these two layers. You're gonna do that by pinching them together. So the two layers, and you're just gonna slide them into each other. And as you can see, that's that layer, there's our background. And we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make another mask here. Now that I've got that one, we're gonna click mask. We're gonna invert it, and there we've cut that out. And you're just gonna repeat, so merge them together. And go through and cut out these sections. Another way to do this too is, I'll show you in a second. Make sure you invert and merge. So instead of erasing all this like that, you could do that. Um, it's not as precise, so that's why the mask on these layers is way better and faster. It's not ideal, obviously. It'd be great if you could just do the automatic selection, but um, it just is kind of how you have to do this. So it's going to yield a great result. So just stick around and we'll finish this part up. Okay, there we go. So it does take some time to do that, but this looks a lot better than that original one where if you did the automatic tool, it's gonna be blurry. Um, I didn't do some of the trees in here, just they were a little faded and I didn't want them in this final picture either way. So as you can see, our background, you can change the color. You can add your own art to it now. And yeah, so there we go. So thanks for watching, I appreciate you sticking around. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to see more Procreate tutorials like this. I'll be making a lot more coming up, so love to see you back. Just because it's me, I couldn't leave this graphic without a background, so I decided to add a pretty sweet background. And of course I did it twice because uh, I wasn't happy with the first one. So I'm gonna make a speed art video and I'll put that link above or below. I forget where they go, I'm new to this stuff. so. I hope you check that out. Enjoy. Thanks for watching and peace out.